What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're feeling well today. You are going to get into something that I've been weird about for a long time. Weird? Why? Weird. <laughs> because this is Tesseract. Okay. And I go back and forth with if I like them or not. Because the musicianship and the way they play, the music is ridiculous. There are some amazing parts. I can't, yeah, I can't think. I, I think I would hear it and know it was Tesseract, but I can't like name a song. I don't know. We actually saw them live with <laughs> Last Chance to Reason. Whoopsie. Oh no, with, with, <laughs> with the contortionist. Okay. A long time ago in Arizona. We've seen a lot of shows. And we actually walked out of because Contortionist opened and Tesseract was headlining, we walked out. We we stayed for like a little bit and I don't know, something with the singer just, it gets me. And everybody was like, yeah, well, let's go. Like nobody was into it. Oh. You know, I have a thing with singers when they get really high pitched and whiny, like, yeah, like, you know, like, I hate to bring it up, but like Spencer from Periphery, when he does the high pitched stuff, I cannot do it. And the Tesseract homie really does that. All right. Well, at that's, some point. Yeah. I mean, everybody's entitled to their but, opinion, of course. But then there's other times where he is just amazing. His lows, his, his just sounds really good sometimes. Okay. So I really go back and forth. And um, this was a newer song from them. And it was on Metal Burbs Top 50 or Top oh, 100 God, that was or a something. Great that was a great um, video roundup. It was like Top 50 Metal Songs of 2023. Right, yeah. right. And and so we heard like 15 seconds of just like a breakdown or something. And I was like, okay, let's, let's try it, it again. Let's give it another try. Let's try it again. But oh, man. All this context, I had no idea. I certainly do not remember walking out of the show. But I suspect it wasn't dramatic like that no, right it, it was just like, sort of oh, like all right we've heard a few songs not care. into it let's go yeah maybe it wasn't mixed so good and all we were hearing were vocals i don't know what it is but we walked out and fun fact a song that we actually love love he's the singer of which one the group islands oh with the v yes yeah no okay. no. no it's like i s l n d s yeah, it's familiar. I don't know why I was And thinking. it's the guitarist and songwriter for Scale the Summit. This was his own project. Ooh. And this dude sings on that. Um, oh, okay. The song that I love by Islands is called Nights featuring Ash, which I believe is this singer. This one. I like this. So what is his oh, role in that song? It's beautiful. He's the vocalist. He's the one singing. Right now? That's him. That sounds like a female. Anyways. Okay, my mind is blown. Wait, I you had thought that was a female the, the whole time? The entire time I've liked and known that song, I thought it was a female. I swear to you. <laughs> I mean, well, listen to the song. It's not a hard thing to do, honestly. I never thought it was a female. Well, I think maybe I knew, but, and plus I see it says Ash is the singer so my mind is blown right now yeah so anyways it's the vocalist of tesseract and um <laughs> we're gonna get into this and see oh, if i actually like it so okay. yeah. let's check it out before we do if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed thank you very much now let's check it out this is tesseract legion that's so funny my how... mind is just still blown <laughs> you thought that was a woman yeah the whole time that's great I gotta see a video for that to see that it's a man singing. I know, I, I believe you. Of I don't course, think they husband. have a video for that. It's right. just a. I just gotta know. I gotta see something. But we'll. See, you'll hear him on this one, and yeah. you'll you'll know. I can't wait. I hope we'll see. Hopefully, it's not whiny. Please be one of the good ones. That does not sound like that song. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Loving it right now. I 
I was expecting something. I'm still on board. I'm still in your little rocket ship. I like the, the music so much. The music is like that song. So far. That was tight. Yeah, that harder part. I mean, it's perfect that contortionists would tour with them. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yeah. If you weren't seeing this, you would think that was a woman. I was just, I'll wait till the end. This sounds like a man. Now that you're looking at a man. Right. That fade. A pretty long fade. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Let's see. What You're do you think? You're not a fan, huh? What do you think? I want to hear what you think first. Hmm, I like it. Oh, I good. I do like it. There were a couple of parts towards the end when he was like screaming and then would get in that. Ah! There are a few of those parts where I was like, okay, please don't stay there. And he didn't. So I thought it was a good song, actually. Um, I felt like it was like a sneeze that you can't get out. Exactly. The music, it didn't hit hard somehow. Like it, it had the beautiful parts. It had the heavy parts and it had the beautiful again. 
but the climax just wasn't impactful. Hey, let me ask you a serious question. Is that <laughs> unlike the not serious questions I normally ask, <laughs> is this is that to do with mixing? I mean, from your audio engineering no. perspective, no, is no, that no, because no. like levels weren't no, or is it just the music was absolute the music wasn't there? Yeah, the music okay. it, it was like they tried to build and build and make this huge thing. And it did, but then it didn't really resolve how I wanted it to. Like after it started to get hard and he started to get to those high parts, like I could have gone into a completely different direction and gone like real heavy. Yeah. Then back to the chill stuff or something. I felt like it was missing that boom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I liked it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I mean, it was better than what you expected from based on the comments that you said at the beginning. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know because there's times where I hear Tesseract and I'm like, okay, this is this is really cool. Yeah. That's one of these songs. This sure. is really cool. And I think I'm going to put it on the playlist so that way it will come on and I can jam out to it a couple more times. Mm -hmm. But then I go back and try and listen to some other Tesseract and yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Uh, so I wonder if this is on a new album that has stuff maybe that you would like better than... Maybe. Yeah. I got to check it out. Maybe. But you still don't realize, you still don't hear that that was him? No. And I don't want to get caught up because we're talking, you know, we're comparing it to a different song. But no, I absolutely did not think that that was the same voice. It did not sound the same to me. Um, I, you know, on a positive note, I appreciate the fact that he can use his vocal range the way that he did. And I think that there's Crazy. probably a lot of people who really love that. And so I love that Tesseract exists for those people. I am not one of those people, but that does not mean that I don't appreciate the music musicianship of it, right? So I just want that to be known because look, we're, we're gonna just be very honest here, but do it in a respectful way. And I just, it just was not something that I don't think I would put on my own personal playlist. However, I would be willing to give more a chance to see. I'll, I'd listen to a song or two more to see, but that would be about it. I mean, if it was along the same lines of this one, I would say, no, thank you, I'm Probably not interested. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and part of it, so the breakdown parts were my favorite. It just never hit hard enough for my own personal taste, but again, this is all very subjective and um, I'm yeah. appreciative of just giving it a first listen for me. And I totally agree. Like th this is why I have like zero Tesseract on any of my playlists yeah. because it's like, I love the musicianship and I love the vibe, but it just always leaves me lacking something. Yeah. I'm going to put this one on my you know, playlist. Why? And because I want to hear it more. Oh, I want to hear okay. it a couple to more times. To see if in the car, if it, if it like is different. Yes, or... because so many times on this channel, I'll hear something and I'll have an opinion and then I'll hear it a couple more times later and that opinion completely changes. That's a good point. Yeah, so very true. I want to hear it again when I'm jamming in my headphones, when I'm just zoned out. And also now I got to find out if this was actually the same singer. <laughs> Honestly, it does not sound anything like... I understand how it, you could like think that. I just don't think it was the same. There were parts where I was zoning out when he was doing his just kind of melodic singing. And I was like, even though he has a high pitch, I, he does not sound like the same singer of that song to me. You're totally right. Thank you. He's right. Thank it you wasn't much. that guy. Was it a female? No, 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 no. Okay. But who was it? It was, um, okay. So yes, that that we heard was Ash O'Hara, but he was the old Tesseract singer, not uh, this one. Okay, so that's where the confusion is. This is Daniel Tompkins. So yeah, we were both kind of right. <laughs> it was a, it was Tesseract singer, but not this one. Mystery so, solved. Yeah. Anyways, we've gone on long enough about this, and I'm sure y'all are bored to death. Thanks so for being get, with us. We're going to get on out of here. And uh, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet done so. See y'all soon, friends. Peace. Peace.